Good morning students. You have to take out your geography book class 7. We were doing lesson number 3 weather and climate. The topics to be discussed in this lesson are number 1 its introduction, number 2 weather and climate, number 3 difference between weather and climate, number 4 elements of weather. In elements we will discuss temperature, precipitation, humidity, atmospheric pressure winds clouds till now we have done introduction weather and climate difference between weather and climate elements of weather in elements we have done temperature precipitation humidity today we will start with atmospheric pressure what is atmospheric pressure we all know air has weight it put it weights on the surface of the earth the pressure exerted by the air on the surface of earth is called atmospheric pressure and the instrument used to measure this atmospheric pressure is barometer it is measured in millibars now let's read students you have to take out page number 34 atmospheric pressure the pressure exerted by the atmosphere that is air on the surface of earth is called atmospheric pressure at different places we experience varied atmospheric pressure it is measured in millibars its unit is mb the atmospheric pressure decreases as the height above the sea level increases the atmospheric pressure of a place can be measured with the help of barometer or barograph students this is barometer this is an instrument used to measure the atmospheric pressure Atmospheric pressure is closely related to the climate or the weather of a region. As the temperature of a region rises, the atmospheric pressure decreases and vice versa. Temperature is inversely proportional to pressure. Increase in temperature will decrease the atmospheric pressure and decrease in temperature will increase the atmospheric pressure. land and the sea breezes are caused because of the pressure difference between the land and the sea let us understand this in detail students we will understand this concept with this diagram during the day the land heats up quickly then the sea the air above the land becomes warm when the warm air rises up it creates a low pressure zone over the land a high pressure zone is created over the sea the air above the sea is cool and heavy now the winds will blow from high pressure area to low pressure area it means the breeze will blow from sea to land and which will cause sea breeze during the day during the day the land up, the land heats up more quickly than the sea the air above the land becomes warm when the warm air rises up it creates a low pressure zone over the land a high pressure zone is created over the sea as the air above the cool sea is cooled and comparatively heavy now the winds blow from high pressure area to low pressure area that is the winds will blow from sea to land causing the sea breeze during the day now what will happen during the night at night the land cools down quickly whereas the sea remains warm a low pressure area is formed over the warm sea and the high pressure area is created on the cool land and the cool winds will blow from land to sea hence the land breezes are formed at night the land cools down quickly or rapidly whereas the sea remains warm a low pressure area is formed over the warm sea and a high pressure area is created on the cool land now the cool winds will blow from land to the sea hence the land breezes are formed now next is wind what is wind 
wind is the movement of air how this wind is generated wind is generated due to the difference in the atmospheric pressure of the two places as wind always blow from high pressure area to low pressure area how this wind is measured it is measured by an instrument called anemometer now let's read winds are caused by the horizontal movement of the air because of the uneven heating of the earth due to the difference in the air pressure at two places winds are generated winds move from high pressure area to low pressure area the direction of the wind is measured with the help of wind vane also the speed of the wind is measured by anemometer the speed of the wind is expressed in kilometer per hour or meter per second winds carry heat moisture and the dust with them over the great distances around the earth the coastal winds that is the land breezes and the sea breezes are responsible for the moderate temperature moderate temperature means neither too hot nor too cold at a coastal areas which are caused by the heating and the cooling down of the land and the sea at a different rates as the equator receives more insulation what is insulation insulation amount of heat received by the earth surface as the equator receives more insulation it is hotter than to the other parts of the earth the winds that blow out from the equator are warm warm winds the western europe comes under the influence of the warm winds called westerlies this makes the area warmer than it would have been otherwise The polar region receives slanting insulation and hence it is a colder region thus the winds blowing out from the polar region are cold students this is earth 0 degree latitude equator the sun rays directly falls on the equator the area region near the equator is warm as the wind that blow out from the equator is warm and the region near the poles is cold as the wind that comes out from the pole is cool as the sun rays hardly reaches over the polar region now let's inquire up to a certain height the temperature decreases at the rate of 1 degree celsius for for every 165 meters of height above the sea level this is called the lapse rate what is lapse rate with the increase in the height of 165 meters there is a decrease in the temperature by 1 degree celsius days are longer than the nights and summer that is the duration of the sunlight is more seasons are reversed between the northern and the southern hemisphere it means if there is summer in the northern hemisphere so it will be winters in the southern hemisphere greenhouse gases like water vapors and the carbon dioxide has the ability to trap heat energy of the atmosphere land is warmer than the oceans in the summer land is colder than the ocean in winter el alzizia in libya has recorded the world's highest temperature of 57.7 degrees celsius in 1922 westerlies are the winds coming from the west students we have already done relative humidity but here we have a one more paragraph to read let's read relative humidity is calculated from the ambient temperature as indicated by the dry bulb thermometer and the difference in the temperature as indicated by the wet bulb and the dry bulb thermometers The higher the difference between the dry bulb and the wet bulb, the lower is the relative humidity. If there is a slight difference between the dry bulb and the wet bulb the temperatures, the higher is the relative humidity. When the air is completely saturated, the two thermometers will coincide. It means the two thermometers will give the same reading. It means the greater the difference, the drier is the air. Despite this, The measurement of the humidity is one of the most difficult problem in basic meteorology. Next is clouds or cloud cover. How this cloud cover affects the temperature of the region? If the cloud cover is seen during the day, 
it acts as an obstacle for the sun rays to reach over the earth's surface. What happens at a night? At night, the earth radiates its heat. As it radiates its heat, it goes up and strikes the cloud cover. When it strikes the cloud cover, it comes back to the earth. So, it makes the earth warm at night. Now, let's read. The presence of the cloud cover in the atmosphere above the particular region affects the temperature of the region. If the cloud cover is seen during the day, then it this works as an obstacle for the insulation to reach the earth's surface. If we have cloud cover at night, then the amount of terrestrial radiation leaving the earth's surface is reduced considerably. As a result, the presence of, presence of the cloud cover during the day makes the day cool, whereas the cloud cover at the night makes the night warm. The extent of the cloud cover is measured in octa. With this, we have completed our lesson today, weather and climate. I hope students you have also completed your back exercises side by side. Thank you.